Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be stepping back into a series that I have not done a video for in a while. I'm doing my color palette series. So for today, as you can see, I'm sharing with you my top five green eyeshadow palettes. We are all decked out in vibrant green makeup today. I love the intensity of it. It's been a while since I've done a look like this. So if you wanna see my top five green palettes, then just keep watching. So let's start off with the palette that I'm wearing. It is very, very affordable and easily accessible. This is the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. Now, by the way, these palettes are not in any specific order. They're just the best top five palettes. And this is from like the OG ColourPop color series that they did with their nine pans. They've come out with so many nine pans at this point, but they first started off, they were one of the first brands to do this, to create nine pans of specific colors. And it did very well. This is from one of those original launches and it still is super good and it still is available, which is great. So it's affordable. You can get it at Ulta or the ColourPop website, but let's take a deep dive inside. So here is what it looks like. So if you are curious how I got my look, I did film a reel on it. So if it's not up on Instagram yet, it will be up later but it's a tutorial on how I did this. And I'm very, very impressed with the quality of this. I find that the higher end brands don't really create such vibrant green palettes. So actually a lot of these are affordable, uh, but this is a great way to get those vibrant green eyeshadows. It's gonna be great for like St. Patrick's Day, but green is a very, very trendy color now. But this palette also offers like some more neutral tones right here. If you wanna keep it more of a neutral green, maybe grab a brown from a different palette and use these two and you'll have something more neutral but this one is going to be brighter if you're looking for a brighter color palette and it's quite easy to use I did spend maybe a little bit more time blending today than I would have with a more like a Pat McGrath or a Natasha Denona one of my favorite quality palettes but for the price for the tone of color that really isn't readily available in other uh, brands. This is really good. The shimmers have a lot of pigment to them. You don't even need to wet the brush. I didn't get too much fallout. Uh, with a few of the darker mattes like this one and this one, I did spend an extra minute or two to blend, but it wasn't anything that was intolerable. It was definitely doable. I enjoyed it. So the quality on this is really great. And this palette just offers colors that you don't get really Really on the market so I highly recommend this if you're looking for those brighter tones <clears throat> oh my gosh this next one is making me sad <laughs> so this is the BH cosmetics avocado toast palette now I'm not sure when this video is going to go up is this still available hold on did I flub up BH avocado toast okay you can still get it like Ulta and stuff we're good I was worried it wasn't available anymore but this is from their Weekend Vibes collection, and I'm not sure when this video is going up, but like two days ago, BH did file for bankruptcy. Um, it doesn't mean they're going out of business yet. I'm not... <laughs> but anyways, I'm just sad about that to hear that they aren't doing well because their eyeshadow formulas are super good. And look how cute this palette is. It's really affordable. It's like 18 bucks. But as you know, BH Cosmetics always has really heavy sales. You can get it for a lot cheaper. How pretty is this green palette? Now, you can see there are other complementary tones here. You have a fun peach to play with, a pinky shade right here, and some neutral tones. But for the most part, I definitely would consider this a green palette. You have like the avocado seed tones over here. I love avocado toast and I love this palette. The quality on the colors in here is so great for the price. I don't know how BH manages to do it. It's worth the full price if you ask me. I think the shimmers are more so what stands out because of how pigmented they are and then the greens you might need to give a little bit of extra love to, maybe be a little bit more careful, but it's totally worth it for these colors. I don't have another palette that looks like this or has this color story, so it's very unique in my collection. The quality is really great, the price is really great, and again, it's one of the few palettes that have those brighter green tones. Now this one offers more neutral options compared to the Just My Luck. This is like Pretty much you're getting a vibrant green look. You can play more with these olive tones right here. You can 
do something brighter with the peachy tones and the greens. You can keep it really light with like these two. So you have a little bit more versatility in the looks that you can create with this palette, but it is super nice just in case something happens with BH. If you're into this color story, I would recommend it. All right, friends, so my pricier, priciest item here that we have is a Charlotte Tilbury quad. Now, green does not mean bright green. There are some really great olive neutral khaki tones that are also available. So this is going to be one of the more wearable palettes that I'm talking about today. This is Green Light. The quality in here is so good. It's one of my favorite formulations from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just really creamy, really easy to use. Now it looks like there's not mattes in here. That's because there is not. Charlotte Tilbury doesn't really use mattes too often in her palettes, but you get the prettiest glazed khaki look on the eye with this. This is one of my favorite quads from her. So if you're looking for that neutral khaki look and you want to, you know, put a little money on, into it, make sure you're getting good quality. I recommend this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a really thoughtless palette. Like you can just throw it on your eyes. You know the colors are going to look good together. You know it's going to be good quality. It's going to last all day. So if you're looking for that simple olive khaki kind of eye, this is the one that I would recommend. I know it is quite pricey, but it really is such a nice quad from her, so I had to throw it in here. Okay, this one, uh, I love this. Super underrated brand, in my opinion. This is Kimchi Chic. This is the Juicy Nine Virgin Mojito palette I saw. I don't know if this is still standing, but it was on like 40% off on Beauty Bay for like eight dollars and i have not tried a bad product from kimchi chic beauty i think they have amazing quality product and the cutest packaging so this is what it looks like on the outside it looks pretty plain uh the aesthetic of the brand is very bright and pink and fun and i love it and then here you have kimchi herself right here and look how cute this is i just love the whole design of the brand so this has a lot of yellowy tones to pair with the greens and then you have the greens here these lean a little bit more mint but i was very impressed with the quality of this given how affordable it is again this is one of those palettes where it's going to be a bright bright look i could probably get a similar look to what i'm wearing now with this palette oh i love this one if you have not given kimchi chic beauty a try i would look into their eyeshadow palettes i'm not going to say this one specifically because of you have to have a very targeted taste to like this palette but they do have other color options as well but this one is a fun one if you're watching this if you're looking for a green palette something affordable maybe it's not a color story you're going to reach for very often but you might hear in there so you want to have these colors in your collection this is a great affordable way to do it and I was very impressed with the quality of this so I had to throw this in and it's super cute you know I love a super cute palette number five the last one this is actually the most expensive palette in this video this is the melt cosmetic smoke sessions palette I really do like this one from Melt. It can get a little bit messy at times, but for the most part, I do like the quality of this. Now, this one is going to be a little bit more on the wearable side. Now, if you get rid of this, you can get that kind of minty green look, which is actually really cool for like a grungy, smoky eye. And then, of course, you have the more olive tones here. So this palette actually caters to those of you who want the brighter options and the neutral options you have that all in here but when i think of a really good green palette this is probably one that i would point most people in the direction of because it does offer um some variability of how to wear this you're not going to get like a crazy green eye like i have on today because the only mattes you have here are actually quite neutral and muted but these are like i would say like more <laughs> Wearable is a strong word. It's not the word I want to use, but they are more toned down in this palette. They're not so vivid. That's what I'm looking for. This palette is not vivid green, which I think makes it a lot more approachable. It's good quality. So yes, I really like this one. But you know I can't do one of these videos without cheating. So I do have two honorable mentions. Both of these are limited edition um, and they've since been <laughs> discontinued. But if you have them, Pull them out. That's why I do this, to also remind you what you have in your collection. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that this was discontinued because this definitely would have kicked one of these palettes off. This is the Kaleidos Futurism Sci-Fi Green palette. So this one is one of the more muted tones here, but I just think the quality is so great. I love the packaging of the product here, and ugh, I, just, I have nothing bad to say about this palette. Every single shadow has great quality here. Kaleidos is amazing. 
<laughs> they just come out with the best formulas, the best packaging. They kill it every time. So if you have this, pull it out. It's a great green palette that's in your collection. And I'm I can't sell it to you because you can't you can't get it anymore. But if you have it, pull it out. You know how gorgeous it is. And the last one, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm in love with this palette, but this is more so of a reminder to pull it out if you are looking to create a green look and you have this one in your collection. Don't forget about the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. I was looking at it earlier and it really is an interesting little palette here. You can see it has some more minty tones in here as well as the olive tones. So you can get very interesting array of looks here you know you have those neutral colors and the teal which i think is an interesting mix you can see in the palettes that i mentioned previously they really don't have too much teal in there this was an interesting approach at an emerald green kind of palette again like i said this formulation isn't like knocking your socks off or anything but if you have it pull it out this one is a fun color story i was kind of excited to look at this like I want to actually play with this now because it looks fun and I'm feeling inspired but anyways you guys there we have it those are my top five green palettes as well as two additional little special recommendations for you guys as well I hope you are enjoying this color series definitely check out the other color palettes that I've recommended to you guys and what colors do you want to see next let me know with that being said, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so. I would truly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.